Alright guys, welcome to another Autronics video. In this video we'll be working on this Samsung tablet uh, that's been brought in to us by a customer. The model number reads SM-T230. Just get the camera to focus for you so you can see that. Okay, there we go. So SM-T230. So we'll be replacing the uh, charging port for this. Now I've uh, pre-deassembled this. Um, Take the cover off and remove this motherboard from this um, tablet. Now let's get rid of these some of these small connections that are on the motherboard, the LCD, digitizer, camera, and the battery connections. And let's remove this motherboard out of this uh, tablet. Okay, let's get rid of that and um, bring this under the microscope. And let's firstly examine the charging port here so we can have a look under the camera. Let's get this sort of focus again that uh, the charging port is rather damaged so you can see the pins inside there are quite bent and damaged so what we'll do is replace this charging port put in a uh, new one in there and let's see how we go from there so let's place you on a uh, PCB holder here and let's go from there so what I'll start off by doing is applying a bit of flux around the uh, joints of the um, charging port and apply a bit of solder just to melt um, the solder around the charger port and um, get the uh, solder to flow rather easily so when we heat up with the um, heat gun we would be having success in removing this without applying too much heat on the board so let's uh, let's have a look at that so let me grab my uh, selection of tweezers here and um, let's uh, let's grab this and a couple of other things and um okay so i've got what i need of course you just use this just bring the heat gun in so i've got it set at about 320 uh, degrees celsius and let's just heat on top of the uh charging port um it shouldn't require too much heat because we've used um the fresh solder on it so let's let's apply a little bit of heat and just work it back and forth and there we go so we'll remove that so remove the old charging port we'll leave it here because it's quite hot um, and the next thing that I'll do is I'll go over this with some fresh solder and flux um, and uh, and just clean up this joint here um, so let's do that now let's heat up the pads again ensuring that we have not lifted up any pads here and um, let me just find my solder braid um, there we go so this is a 3mm solder braid it can be found at Aliexpress or Jcal or anywhere that you feel you can get solder braids from um, so let's use this here let's suck up all of the solder from the motherboard and the charging port here ensure that we've got residual left over we'll leave a little bit laying around just so when we heat it back into place it holds on and uh, let me find the replacement one so here's where we got a replacement one for it we, again you can I'll leave links in the description and you can find them on Aliexpress Amazon eBay wherever and let's get this casing off, um, plastic cover, and we'll match up the charging port and have a look if uh, that's exactly the right one for this. Okay. Let's get this in focus and let's bring the old one and compare with the new one. So let's have a look. So we've got the old one and the new one. So the pin alignments are basically the same. So I'm happy with that. Yep, so I'm happy with that. All right, so let's uh, let's position this here and um, replace this charging port. And um, so what I'm going to start off by doing is aligning this up on the motherboard and then having a look um, if we can apply a bit of flux on here first, um, get these pads all tinned up, ready to go. Um, I do use a little bit of uh, flux around these joints. Um, just so I can ensure that I've got an even flow of solder. So let's uh, bring the solder and the soldering iron here and solder these joints up. And let's have a look. Okay, so that looks good. And just a little bit on this ground pad here. Doesn't need too much because I don't want it going inside the port. Um, let's bring the port. Let's line it up. Let's place that there. Okay, that looks good. Let's hold it in place. And bring in the soldering iron, let's line it up a little, little bit here. 
Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so what I'll start to do is just um, tacking these little joints on the side here. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And then I will we'll bring in the solder and the flux um, just so I can flow this area a little bit um, easier. So what I tend to do is I don't tend to use the heat gun on here. There is a plastic part here, but I do solder this in. So just a little bit on the sides here and here. That's ample. Try not to put too much on just because it leaks inside. Um, and then a little bit here and a little bit on this side. Okay, so yep, just tiny bit more and get that to flow right through it. And then just on these joints here. So I usually put it on the tip of my soldering iron and then I will tin and apply it to the leads and the pad. And okay, so I am happy with it. a few bridges, but uh, we can always uh, fix that through using a bit of flux. So let's turn this around, have a look. So I've got one or two bridges there. That's all right. So we'll do this, apply the soldering tip on these pads. It's a little bit hard to do this with the camera right in the front of me, um, but it's okay. We can do this. And um, so let's apply that and let's clean it up. So what we'll do is um, apply a bit of um, isoprob that I'm using to clean this and a Q-tip. I just want to have a, a clearer view inside to see um, if my joints are all um, connected and joined up properly. So I'm going to have one final look. If need be, I'll apply a little bit of a solder on um, and flux on here um, just so I can get rid of the uh, minimal bridges that are on here. Um, so, so flux and, and it just makes it, flux just makes it, uh, the solder flow a little bit easier for me. Um, so, okay, so let's get a, rid of that bridge. Cool. Let's apply on this one. Let's get a rid of that one. That's okay. All right, cool. So I am quite happy with the way that looks. And I'm just going to be going over it a little bit more. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So now um, let's let's bring in the isopropyl again and give this a, a clean. Um, spray it on here and with the Q-tip just go around uh, on the edges of it. Um, don't press too hard otherwise you'll knock off some components um, nearby. Okay, so let's remove this from the PCB holder. Um, and let's uh, have a look. Um, here we are. Awesome. So that looks like it's in place. So let's grab my tweezers and just do a uh, test on here. Um, great. So that's soldered on quite well. I'm happy with that. So let's go all the way through. And there we are. So you can see that quite clearly that it's soldered on perfectly. And I'm happy with that. I tend to not use heat gun on here because there is a plastic part inside and I don't want to melt that or risk of melting it. So let's grab, um, let's move our little PCB holder out of the way here. Um, and um, let's assemble this back into the uh, tablet. Zoom you guys out a little bit. And um, all right, there we go. And let's, uh, let's have a look. Let's assemble this back up. Um, all right, so that's good. And let's figure out how which way does this go. Okay, so that goes on this side. Cool. And uh, yep, that connectors for that. And okay, let's move this up on top. Um, okay, so let's plug in this big connector. Oh, there's a little one stuck underneath. I always find myself finding a connector at the bottom uh, somewhere but um, always good to just check over all of the connections and ensure that you've got a solid connection on all of your um, uh, cables that are leading onto the motherboard so you uh, know that there's a secure connection there so let's push this in a little bit more and press that down um, what else so we'll connect this camera up I don't want to connect too many up too many things back up to the motherboard just just so I know that enough is uh, there to power on and show the charging symbol on the uh, tablet so this is the battery connection um, let's slide that in push a little bit it's a little bit stuck okay there we go close that okay and I might just put one screw here um, 
just we'll just have a look um I wonder if I can do it without it okay so that's solid that's done that's okay all right so um let's uh let's bring in our charger cable this micro usb charging cable plug it up and um and let's see how we go so we should get a if it's working we should get a uh, charging symbol on the front of the uh tablet so let's have a look so we got some amps drawn and there we go there we go guys so we've got a charging symbol and let's have a look if it's gonna give us a percentage there we go we got four percent charge on the uh, tablet and uh, there we are so um we have successfully repaired this remember you can do this a little bit of patience and you can also achieve this